Okie dokie. Um, high row to external shoulder rotation, guys. So to begin this movement, you know, you might take um, some weight plates. I think they have two over here. They don't have to be heavy. Um, but I want to be thinking about rotating around in this glenohumeral joint, right? And my elbow should stay at roughly the same place when it finishes and when it starts. So, belly button in, nice and engaged here. Shoulders roll back and down just like anything else. Come out here, boop, right? My elbow's going to drop down. I come back here. My forearms, or my hands are right above my elbows and I just practice this motion, right? Um, so when I set up a point for this, I should I need to have it lower than when I'm working. So I'm gonna have to stand because my uh, uh, my point is at waist height. If I do it here, guys, I'm not going to have as much tension on that external rotation than if I was standing. So if you guys need to start here and you know you wanna focus more on your high row, then go ahead and do that. But you know, you're gonna get a lot more out of it from this position. Right? So you can just practice this to begin with, and then eventually, I'm not centered here. So I come hit forward, pull back, external rotate, trying to keep my elbows in the same place. My core is tight. I'm not arching my back to make that happen. Boom. I go all the way back to this neutral position before I extend forward. Now with the TRX, you can do it with a regular TRX with a single point, right? That's fine. That's the way I learned it. So you're here, pull back. External rotate, down, right? Keep in mind, yeah, it's gonna get easier when you get to the top, but um, we're at that point in time, we're focusing more on weaker muscles, so that's fine. Um, so we're getting more out of it than what we'd be doing at the bands, where we are limited by how much we can get with that external rotation, whereas here, our high row helps get, gets, gets us up and lowers that resistance, and then our external rotation is, full, is properly, um, is get, getting proper resistance resistance as is my high row. Now, I want to, if I can, keep my wrists on top of my elbows. Find that position, guys. One thing I find here is that kind of thing, where when people go down, they roll, their, they disengage your shoulders, they roll it forward. So be really mindful that as you're coming down in this position, you're thinking in opposition. Your shoulders are going back and down and together all the way through that, so that you keep your shoulders healthy all the way through that movement.